This screencast will discuss um, how you can convert text to speech on your Mac. So this is really helpful when you're proofreading essays, emails, or other text because it's often helpful to listen um, to what is to the text while you're reading it. It can be, of course, a great help to those who are vision impaired and also can be a help to those who struggle with reading because you can have the computer, your Mac, read to you while you follow along the text. So we're going to look first in this first screencast at how um, your Mac, how to set your Mac up to read to you. First, we want to go down to the dock and click on System Preferences. If your System Preferences um, is not sitting on your dock, you can locate it by clicking on your Finder, which remember is your directory, clicking on Applications, and then scrolling down to System Preferences. You want to open that up, and you'll get a list of a variety of things that you can um, uh, personalize in the system preferences area. We're going to look in the fourth row down, kind of in the middle, dictation and speech. Click on that icon and it'll open another window. Make sure that the tab selected is text to speech, not dictation. That's another thing. So on in text to speech, you have a choice of a system voice. If Alex is not already selected, select that voice. It's the most sophisticated, sounds the best, and it's gonna, um, it's the smartest one. It tends to read things um, following correct grammar and pronunciation. It's the best one to choose. You should have um, the selection, the slider for the speaking rate should be at normal. Uh, it's a good place to leave it later on. If you want it to read faster, um, you can come back and change that if you want. But for now, leave it at normal. And then these checkboxes here, um, the first two should be unchecked. And the next one, speak selected text when a certain key is pressed. So yours may not have any current key selected. So we need to click on change key. And then right here in this spot, you put the, the keystrokes that you want to use. So I use the keyboard command control and the letter T for talk. Some people want to use options S for speech, whatever works for you. So actually type that combination of keystrokes and then click OK. And then you can, you can uh, close out that and your Mac is now ready to speak to you. So let's give it a try. Let's try it. I have a piece of um, the Raven selected here. So if I highlight a, a portion of that poem and then click Control T, we should hear Alex, the voice in the Mac, talking to us. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. To some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this, and nothing more. So he did a pretty good job, I think, especially with um, a poem. You can highlight any section of text that you want, and if you want him to stop, use the same keyboard uh, command, in my case, Control T, to stop him. So you can be start and stop using the same um, keyboard command. So anything, any text that's on your computer, an essay that your student, your, um, student has written, um, an email that has come in, uh, something like this from a website, any text that's on your computer can now be read out loud to you. So watch the next couple of screencasts to see how you can do this on the PC and also how this will work on your iPad.